for. Uh, Christine, just give us a bit of background to the incident first. Yep, yeah, so the incident was an attack on Evie Ann Cooper, a 12-year-old, which happened in Arlington Gardens in Margate last Thursday. Now, as you said, the footage is too dis distressing to show, um, but we um, have watched it, and in it you can see that she is grabbed by her hair, struck in the face, uh, all whilst crying out for help. Um, she was then kicked and had her head stamped on and was knocked unconscious. Uh, Evian was taken to hospital for head injuries but has since gone home. Um, now police have arrested three girls um, aged between 13 and 15 and all from Margate on suspicion of assault um, but they have been released on bail. Meanwhile uh, some pupils at the Charles Dickens School where uh, Evian is a pupil um, have been excluded or suspended for sharing the video or leaving unacceptable comments. The school say they are working closely with police and the victim and her family. And the public response to this has been quite remarkable. Quite a few high-profile figures getting involved. Definitely. So um, a GoFundMe page was set up, which has raised more than £6,000 so far. More than 450 people have donated, one of those being £500 from an anonymous tip. And... Um, and there's, like I said, there's been several celebrities sharing and showing support. Um, one of these is X Factor finalist Talia Dean, who uh, released a video on Twitter with her support. Um, and then you've got other celebrities speaking out, including Hugh Grant, Daniela Westbrook and boxer Ricky Hutton. And uh, what, what's going to be next in this uh, situation? So, um, as we know, um, the three girls that were arrested have been released on bail, so it will just be waiting to see um, any updates. Um, but probably for uh, Evian and her family, they're just wanting to move on. Yeah, we'll uh, keep a close eye and see how their petition gets on. Christina, thank you very much indeed.